If you are in the store and you're searching for Duke Cannon recommendations, let me help you out really quick here. Their Duke Cannon Thick Body Wash is probably my favorite body wash I've ever used. Their Beard Wash is really good. I actually was very surprised about that one. I do not recommend their Beard Oil or their Beard Balm that looks like it comes in two different tints. So come back after you get home from the store, subscribe to the channel, watch the rest of the video. For everybody else, I'm gonna introduce myself and then give you guys a lot more details about these products and this company after the intro. And my name is Dan C. Bearded. I love talking about beards. I am a teacher. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And I'm gonna break it all down. If you guys like beards, hit the thumbs up. If you like a lot of beard nerd science and all that kind of stuff, tips and tricks, consider subscribing to the channel. First off, I want to say thank you to Duke Cannon for reaching out and sending out all these products today. I'm really digging the style of this company. They do a lot with the US military, whether it's giving back to the military, taking inspiration for their products from the military, and also locally, they give back to the post office, the firefighters during the pandemic. They made hand sanitizer and gave it out to uh, orders for one, they just threw it in for free, but they also gave it to first responders in the local communities, which is really cool. I've had nothing but great positive interactions with this company and heard raving reviews about their customer service. So let's get into some prices real quick. So this is the body wash and I'll talk about the product specifically after this segment. This is a 17.5 fluid ounce product here and it is thick. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this really well here, uh, but this is a super duper thick body wash. So a little bit goes a long way. This is $9. That is a redunculous price. I could not believe that this thing was $9 for how good it, I'm going to get into all that, but for how long it lasts, wonderful. Now their beard oil, you can tell this is a big glass bottle here, has this nice little twist off top. You guys know how I love the restrictor caps there or the orifice reducers. This is three ounces and it is for $30. Now, if you look at it compared to the small batch market, that's a good deal. $10 an ounce, even though it's a pretty good commitment for the average person, this will last you three months or more. And so you look at it like that, not that big of a deal, but I thought it was a little bit expensive compared to the other prices of the products they have, as well as comparing it to other drugstore or store accessible beard oils. And then you have their beard balm, which is a 2.5 ounce, and this goes for $15, which is another great price there. And then the beard wash, I did not look up the price on the beard wash, uh, but this is a six fluid ounce beard wash over here. So a little bit about the company, a little bit about the prices. Next, let's talk about the products. How do they work? What are my thoughts? First, I'm gonna talk about what I consider to be the most important product for me from head to toe, and that would be beard oil. Now I have three different beard oils from uh, Duke Cannon, and the first one is the Redwood Beard Oil, Absolutely love the labels, love the glass packaging, of course love the twist off at the top there. The Oak Barrel, we'll see if you guys can catch something as I'm showing these ones. And then we have the Cedar Wood. Now the first one that I went with to try out was the red one. And I wore this one two or three times before I dabbled with the others because it is the only one out of the three that does not have an alcoholic drink as an ingredient. Yes, you heard that correct. Let me say that again. This is the only one out of the three that I have that does not have an alcoholic drink as an ingredient. The Oak Barrel's last ingredient that we have here is Buffalo Trace Bourbon. Not a fragrance, not a scent, not an extract, just listed as Buffalo Trace Bourbon. Now the Cedarwood, the last ingredient we have here is Budweiser, registered trademark logo and all that, beer. Again, not a scent, not an extract, it just says Budweiser beer. Now that worries me for a couple of reasons. Certain types of alcohols are not good for your hair. Those would be the alcohols in bourbon and in beer. Also, I have celiac disease. What that means is I'm allergic to wheat. I'm allergic to gluten, which is in most bourbons, which is in most beers. So there's a chance that I could be allergic to those, and I'll talk about those in a, in a second. But the Redwood has none of those. I had no concerns with this one. The smell on all of these are absolutely wonderful. 
They are pure man. They remind me of old school aftershaves, just different styles of kind of manly grandpas or older guys that they would slap on their face. Wonderful manly smelling scents here. The red one, that's all I can really say is it just smells like an old school aftershave. Now, when I put this in beard, it felt fine. It had a medium consistency or viscosity to it, but I had a weird thing that happened with this oil the first time I used it, the second time I used it, and every single time is my beard went dry after a couple of hours, but then it became like crispy. It was almost like the feeling when you put hairspray on hair, you know how it locks into place and you almost feel like there's like an outer layer and go Kink, and you like break through the outer layer. I've never experienced that with beard oil before, but I did with all of their beard oils. It was very strange. Now, I've used some of the worst products in the world. I've used some that made my beard feel rubbery and silicone and just, ugh. I've had others that my beard dried out immediately and was itchy. I had reactions. These are by no means terrible products, but I don't know why that happened with my beard. Even if the one that did not have alcohol as the ingredient, that was the biggest thing that stood out to me. I tried to comb it out later in the day, horrible idea. So for whatever reason, my beard and my skin did not take to their beard oils really well. So the other two I only wore once, all right, once each, so twice, and I wanted to test it first. If you ever have a question of an allergen, you wanna get that oil on your skin, not your face, so it's not just this huge area. And I put a drop on my wrist. I always like to test it on my wrist, kind of rub it around, see if it's gonna itch, see if it's gonna flare up and make a bump or any of that stuff. I did not have any reaction to these. So that is good. I don't know if it's really filtered or how that works, but there was no reaction for me topically, personally. And again, these smell really, really well. This oak barrel, is again, just manly, just someone who's gonna go chop wood, but then go on a wonderful date with his gorgeous wife later. And then the cedar wood, again, great. They all kind of have a spiciness to them, a little bit of a tingle your nostrils a little bit. Truly great scents, but I did not like the feel in beard whatsoever with these beard oils. Next up, I'm gonna talk about their Beard Balm. I'm gonna show you guys this one specifically because I have not used this one with the Budweiser in there. But their, their Beard Balm would be a medium firm hold. It's gonna give you some decent styling, which you want. It'll be a big boost to scent. The scent is pretty strong on these ones. So for a lot of you, it can be after you've worked all day, throw on some Beard Balm at night because you're gonna go out with your girl. You want it to look nice. You also wanna smell nice. But one thing that I wanna point out that was uh, consistent for all three of these beard balms is when I received it, it is not creamy. It is not smooth. Like it is probably intended to be, but rather it is like grainy kind of has that like pellet feel to it. And this is pretty natural. And I have a quick way to fix it for you guys. I'm going to throw that video up right now in one of these corners. <laughs> so I think it's over here. So wherever it's at, check out that video. And essentially what happens is in shipping, this product will heat up, it will melt, and then it will re-solidify again. And when that happens and it's not controlled and done properly, the shea butter will crystallize. There's nothing wrong with the product. It's not bad at all. You can bring it back in your home pretty easily there. So I just want to go over that. But the balm is good. It's a, it's a market average. I didn't have any bad reactions. I'm not a balm guy, so I didn't love it. Uh, that's just my personal preference. Beard wash. This one shocked me, right? You can get this stuff online, but this is really known for being in stores. I think it's in Target where a lot of people see it, but this is their beard wash here. Now I've tried just about every single drugstore or grocery store beard wash there is. A lot of them come in this container exactly like this, and they're almost all the same. They have that kind of rubbery, really sticky feel. You know, you put your fingers like this and it eh, goes between. Just not a good feel. I'm not a fan of those kinds of beard washes. And I was certain, 100% certain that that's what this was going to be. I'm going to show you guys here. I got something to clean up. Not at all. I could not have been wrong, more wrong here. See it coming out there? Very light. And look at this. Almost all of those beard washes are clear. This is more of that creamy type beard wash, and it's really good. It is not a super stripping beard wash, so if you had like a really bad day and you wanna really get everything out of there, this would not be my go-to, but this is a solid 
daily beard wash, something that you can use. It's not going to really damage your beard. Let's say that you get sweaty, you get a little bit dirty at work, but it's nothing crazy. And you're like, ah, I gotta, I gotta wash my beard. This is a good option. I could not believe it when it worked in my beard. The first time I used it, I wanted to go no conditioner afterwards. I had no problem. I, I washed solo just by itself. No conditioner. I was good to go. I've since followed it up with conditioner. It worked really well. Maybe the highlight, definitely the highlight of all their beard products is their beard wash. And man, oh man, that one caught me off guard. Let's talk about my favorite body wash that I have ever used. That is Thick by Duke Cannon. Now I have four different ones that we're going to talk about today, but I've only used one because I'm frugal. If I start something, I'm going to finish it when I like it. And Sam doesn't like a lot of clutter space taken up in the bathroom. So I couldn't just bust all these out at once. So I have been going with the thick smells like productivity and the scents on here are peppermint, pine, and eucalyptus love. It just smells fresh. It just smells invigorating. It smells clean. And the name thick is for a reason. This product is thick. You only need a little bit. I go with about just under a quarter size on my loofah. That sounds so weird on my loofah. Gets my whole body lathered up. Oh, does such a good job, you guys. I've never been so happy and so pleased with, with a body wash. I also have their Smells Like Accomplishment, which is citrus, sandalwood, and oak moss. I love oak moss because it gives you that kind of like earthy smell. And yeah, this baby's just, just clean, fresh, smells really good. The citrus to me is pretty much orange, right? You got that orange color there. I get a lot of orange in there. I get a lot of nature in there. Wonderful. Now this one is Naval Supremacy, and this one is Freshwater Musk and Bergamot. Now Bergamot is my favorite citrus scent, number one. And yeah, this is just, uh, it, it does. It smells like something that you would take up to the cabin. It's something that you would take on a boat that you want to get clean with. You guys, I am really excited for all these body washes. And then the last one is Old Glory. This one is Tobacco, Cedarwood, and Amber. And this one is super manly. This is my least favorite out of these. I love the other three. I'm going to use those ones first. But this by no means smells bad to me. And I know for a fact will be the favorite for a lot of you out there. Tobacco, cedar, wood, and amber. The amber gives it a little bit of sweetness. The tobacco gives it that earthy kind of man in there. And then the cedar wood just brings in like a little hint of cologne type smell to it. All wonderful, great lather, a little bit goes a long way, and just a ridiculous price that you can get online or in the store. Conclusion, the beard oil did not really work for me, and that is a bummer because that's the most important product for me, but I found some other products that I love. That beard wash is going to be a great option for those of you that are like, I don't like to order online, I can't order online, you want to go find it in a store, or even if you do order online, I think they have free shipping on orders over $25, so stock up on some body wash, get some beard wash in there. If you want to try out their beard products too, that's great. I know they have like some bar soaps and some other really cool products that I have not had a chance to try yet, but hopefully in the future and I can make a video and update you guys. Question to leave you with and help out please. I have not heard heard a lot about this company. There's not a lot of people that ask me questions, not a lot of people that make comments on it. If you have tried Duke Cannon, anything from Duke Cannon, if you've had experiences with them, please, I really mean this, leave your experiences down below. Did you love the beard oil? It's your favorite one you used all time? That's very possible. Everybody's beard is a little bit different. Have you tried their soap, their balm, their beard wash, their, their body wash, any of this stuff? I want to hear from you guys, but more importantly, the consumers, the people watching this that are thinking about buying, they want to hear from you as well. So thank you guys for watching today. Dan C. Bearded, stay bearded and stay positive.